On October 26, 2016, Facebook was flooded with what was thought to be live footage from the International Space Station. Media outlets Unilad and Viral USA both release live streams on Facebook garnering millions of views. Now BBC was quick to put out that you are not watching a live feed from space and that these videos are actually a year to three years old. So where did these videos come from? Well, it appears that at least part of the video broadcast on Viral USA was filmed by astronaut Terry Virts during a spacewalk in 2015, while the footage on the Unilad Facebook page appears to come from a spacewalk by Russian cosmonauts in 2013. So the footage viewed by millions of people that was thought to be live was actually never live at all. Now it is very important that you realize that the International Space Station is a hoax. Yes, there may be something flying above your head, but it is not a space station in outer space. If you didn't see my last video, here are some of the things I found wrong with the so-called live footage. The first thing many people notice in NASA's recordings from outer space is there are never any stars. Now, when you ask the question, where are the stars, the nearest heliocentrist will tell you that the sun is so bright that when you're in outer space you can't see any stars. Which to me is so ridiculous, I like to reply, well, the sun is a star, how come we can see the sun? Where are the satellites? Apparently we have thousands and thousands of satellites orbiting our Earth. Yet as the ISS goes around and around the Earth, we don't see not a single one. I find it strange you can watch the entire four hours of footage and we don't bump into one satellite for us to look at? We don't ever get to see one, ever? And you don't see any space debris either. There should be some rocks and some space crap floating around up there and you don't see any debris. No satellites, no debris, no stars, no nothing. Space is pretty boring, it looks like. And here's something else you don't see. You don't see any airplanes. Out of the thousands and thousands of flights taking place every day, you don't see not one single airplane reflecting some sunlight back at the ISS. Sure, the airplanes are going to be small, but they should be down there reflecting some sunlight, right? That right there is Baja, Mexico. There's a bunch of tourist locations all over Mexico. We should see flights heading back and forth to all the tourist locations there in Mexico. Are you telling me that you can see an airplane from the ground? You can see the ISS from the ground, but when you're on the ISS, you can't see any planes looking down? Now, one thing I notice about these clouds they don't change, they don't morph, and they don't move. When I'm standing on the ground, I can look up and watch the clouds change, morph, and move. But when you're on the ISS and you look down at the clouds, they don't change, they don't morph, and they don't move. Now, many people were claiming that their country or their entire continent was covered up by clouds in the footage. Now anyone who went outside that day and saw clear blue sky, a nice sunny day, and then went and looked at the footage and saw that their entire country or their entire continent was covered by clouds, well that person would know that this footage is a fraud. Many people noticed that this panel had curvature which closely resembled the curvature of the earth below. Now the question becomes, was this panel actually curved? Or is this just evidence of a fisheye lens? What in the hell is this weird ring? Yeah, that ring just above the text. Many people in the comment section of my last video were asking what in the hell is that weird ring? I have no idea what that is. I just wanted to point it out. Here's a quick zoom in. Yeah, your guess is as good as mine. 
Here's something funny I didn't notice until after I made my last video. You can watch the Earth's curve change. Huh, did you see it right there? Pay close attention, here it comes. So you can see the Earth's curve totally bulge out. Watch for it. Blah, blah. See, it's very slight, the Earth's curve, and then it bulges out and becomes very prominent. So at that point, you gotta ask, what just made the Earth's curve completely change? And here's another example of the Earth's curvature changing. You can see the arc of the curve bulge upward. Funny enough, that panel also bulges upward as well. And when I speed up the footage, it becomes even more noticeable. Watch this. Blip, 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 blip. <laughs> the title of this video is NASA and Facebook tricked you. Now you may be wondering, how did they do that exactly? Well, that's what I'm gonna explain now. This footage was broadcast on the Facebook Live feature to millions and millions of people. So my question is, if the footage is old, and NASA says it's old, the BBC says it's old, how did Unilad and Viral USA get to upload old footage into the Facebook Live feature? I don't understand that. You see, I've used the Facebook Live feature many times, and they don't give me an option to upload a video. In fact, you can see the little button right there that says go live. They let you type a description, and then when you click that go live button, you are live on Facebook. At no time do they give you the opportunity to upload an old video and then call it live. So my question then becomes again, how in the hell did Unilad and Viral USA upload old footage into the Facebook Live feature? The only way this could be possible is if Facebook knowingly let Unilad and Viral USA upload old footage. They would have had to have given them some sort of special privilege, some sort of special ability to make that happen. Why would Facebook do that? Why would Facebook allow two media outlets to trick the public and use a live feature while airing old footage? Why would they do that? There were a huge amount of people watching and commenting on these feeds. Apparently 17 million people watch the supposed live footage on Unilad's Facebook page, while another 26 million people watch the footage on Viral USA's page. And the BBC even reported that the eagle-eyed may have noticed that there was no mention of any such Facebook Live on the social media accounts of NASA or the ISS, which would seem unusual. Yeah, you think? You think that might be unusual? that NASA or Facebook didn't mention that they're gonna be going live and then Unilad and Viral USA then go live with old footage? And get this, the BBC's official explanation is that Unilad told us they decided to post an old stream from the ISS as a chance to test the capabilities of what the live broadcast feature on Facebook could really do. We also contacted Viral USA, but have not received a reply at the time of this writing. <laughs> wow, really? So let me break it down for you folks. NASA and Facebook tricked you. That's right, they conspired together to trick you, to brainwash you, and to indoctrinate you. What they did was, Facebook allowed Viral USA and Unilad to go through the live feature with old footage. How exactly can you have old footage go through that live feature without some sort of special grant, special ability given by Facebook? So that means Facebook allowed NASA 
to go live and trick you. And they did it through the guise of Unilad and Viral USA. But in reality, it's Facebook allowing NASA to go live with old footage to trick and indoctrinate the masses into believing they saw the space station live in outer space. So if the numbers are correct, 43 million people watched what they thought was live footage of the International Space Station in outer space. Now out of the 43 million, I don't know, maybe a million, maybe two million, that's being nice. Maybe that many people know that the International Space Station is a hoax. Now, how many of the 43 million people saw the article from the BBC or any other news outlet for that matter, which explained that it wasn't live? So how many of the 43 million people at least figured out that it wasn't live footage? Let's be really nice and say half the people who saw that feed figured out that it wasn't live. That still leaves roughly 20 million people who are going to walk away believing that they saw the ISS live in outer space on Facebook. These are people who aren't going to be swayed when you tell them that no, that wasn't live because they're going to believe they saw it live. So anyone who didn't go back and see that article or who didn't catch the information that it wasn't live, they're going to go on believing that it was. So it's tactics like this that equate to uh, warfare on your mind, folks. It is literally warfare on your mind. They want to attack what you know. Simply put, they want you to believe in what is not so that you will never actually know what is. just because a so-called wise person said it. Believe nothing just because it is a belief that is generally held. held. Believe nothing just because it is said in ancient books. Believe nothing. Believe nothing just because you found someone else believes it. Believe nothing. Nothing. Believe nothing just because a so-called wise person said it. Said it. Believe nothing just because it is a belief that is generally held. Held. Believe nothing just because. 
because it is said in ancient books, believe nothing, nothing, believe nothing, nothing, believe nothing, believe nothing, believe nothing. nothing just because it is said to be of divine origin. Believe nothing just because you found someone else believes it. Believe only what you yourself test and judge to be true. 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 Believe nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Believe nothing just because you found someone else believes it. Believe nothing just because a so called wise person said it. Believe nothing, believe nothing, nothing. Believe nothing, believe nothing, nothing. Believe only what you yourself test and judge to be true, be true, true. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and share it on your favorite social media sites. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned, and we'll see you back next time.